Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a heart cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision. And now a side port is being made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. And now my plan is to stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye underneath this air bubble. If we use dye underneath an air bubble, the staining is very quick. See this is real time. I have applied the dye. Now I am this is a bit of adrenaline and just after a few seconds I wash the dye and we can see that there is very nice staining of the anterior capsule and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now watch rexis with utrata forceps the utrata forceps goes in the anterior leaf of the main wound is lifted off a capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided all around and an adequate size rexis is achieved this is a real time you can see a nice rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done, and now nucleus management by my technique, which I call submarine chop. The tip of the feco needle goes in. The machine being used is Oatly and this is Oatly Easy Tip. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and the teeth is buried into the substance of the nucleus goes towards the opposite equator through the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped. The nucleus has been rotated 90 degree in this case and I have got a free nuclear fragment. This is the other piece of the heminucleus and now I come to the other heminucleus and chop it into two pieces this is the other piece FECO energy used in this case is 80%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. But during emulsification of the last piece, I usually go to FECO 3 mode nowadays, where the vacuum is 250, flow rate is 25, and ultrasonic energy is 65%. is done. So the nucleus has been managed very nicely and now let's go again. Now I'm going to use a 23G Simco to remove this cortex and few bits of nuclear base. 
narcotics from 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock and 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock through the left side port I try to remove the cortex from the sub incisional area but it was cumbersome so I made another side port at 7 o'clock posterior to the limbus and now I go through this side port and remove the cortex from 12 o'clock So cortical cleanup has been done. It is very satisfactory. There is some fibrosis in the posterior capsule from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. But this is in the peripheral part of the posterior capsule and it will not cause any hindrance to vision. The main wound has been enlarged a little bit and now this is hydroimplantation of a monofocal intraocular lens and the lens is placed in the capsular bag. The anterior chamber is irrigated So that all the visco molecules which was in the lumen of the cartridge comes out. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now the left side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. The seven o'clock side port which was posterior to the limbus doesn't need any hydration and the main wound also doesn't require any hydration. The antichamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.